Well, good morning. It's 9.52 a.m. and it's the 30th of March. Already. Yeah, true story. Well, it seems that Donald Trump has said that and stated that he's not going to support any other Republican if, they're, if they win Republican nomination to run for president. Hmm. Now, the way I look at it is he could be starting a third party. Then again, Bernie um, Saunders could be starting a third party, which would be interesting. Which is something we all kind of wanted in the first place with a third party, wasn't it? I'm not saying I like Donald Trump. I don't care for him at all. But to start a third party, that would be interesting. Same for Saunders. This is the weirdest <laughs> election season I've ever seen. And I don't know whether to be excited about it because it's something new. Or to be worried about it if the wrong person gets in. If the wrong person gets in, we could all be in trouble. But that's true with any presidential candidacy. We're not... We're raw rawing for whoever we believe in because they are very wonderful and terrific and all that and then they get into office and they're suddenly not so wonderful and terrific because they're human beings and because everybody around them is helping them make decisions. I think what we want is God <laughs> but we're not going to get that and so of course he would be the third party. <laughs> And they're angels and gods. <laughs> Why not? You know. But we do need a third party. We need a fourth party. We need every party there is to run, to debate. It just doesn't make sense anymore to have Republicans versus Democrats. Do I agree with Trump? No. But again, he has made a point that is interesting. Do I agree? No. <laughs> but a lot of people might. And do, obviously. They like Trump. Bernie Saunders. He's another one. Really good. Very good. I like everything he has to say. Is he a third party thing? Probably. I'd say yes. Um, he is a Democrat. Or is he a socialist? He's a Democrat socialist. But I know some Democrats don't want to be associated with a so socialist. So, again, a third party ticket. How do we run these third party, third party tickets? Well, to be honest with you, I think they're going to run on their own. And it's just going to happen. I don't know how magically it's going to happen, but something's going to happen. It's, begin it's beginning to remind me of the days of our live scene of what's next. You know. It's hard to debate these people because for one you don't know what they're going to debate. You don't know, know even what they're going to come up with. So you sit back in the audience and you watch and you have to make a determination from that point. I feel like sometimes it's only the press that knows what to ask or they rehearse. They have to rehearse right now because to be honest with you, I don't know what the hell to ask. I just know that there's a lot of questions. I need fed the questions to really get the questions in the first place to even have them answer them back. Uh, you know, Saunders will win. If it wasn't for the delegates, which I consider cheating, <laughs> then he'd be a shoo -in. If Hillary gets any more super delegates, there'll be no more shoo -in. She's mystifies me. I don't care for her. I don't care for her any more than I do Donald Trump. But they're not in the same party. 
They're definitely divided. At least her and Bernie can talk. Bernie doesn't really fight. But he is definitely a third party. So, let's just sit back and watch. There's an article put out by Trump today and it said he's not going to support any of the other Republicans because he has been treated badly by the Republicans. So, let's see what happens. Because right now, I don't think any of us know what's going to happen. Seriously. Uh, the amazing Preskin passed away a long time ago. <laughs> 